so gentle on the D. Anyway, hey everybody, I am Brett here at moreguitars.com and this is a Les Paul Standard 50 series gold top with P90s. How much cooler and more significant and more iconic than this guitar. So there's a lot to talk about on this guitar, but we're going to try to make it as fun as we can, okay? So what I notice about this guitar right off the bat is that it is in stock at moreguitars.com. Nice plug there. Sorry, I'm just kidding. But anyway, what's cool about this guitar is just it's rock and roll, man. It's early rock and roll. It is. It can be used for a lot of different things, but whenever I hear this, It's just got so much soul to it, so much character because of the P90s. And, uh, and Larry, I am very sorry I'm moving around too much, man. I'm sorry. I'm just excited, man. So anyway, it just, and I'm excited, everybody, because we're, we've got Gibson back in the house. We, let, we didn't have him for about 10 years because of all the issues and everything, but now we have him back. And I am, I'm, every guitar that we've made videos for, every guitar that we've shot makes me excited. Back to this one. P90s, they sound amazing. They got that like jangly vintage sound to them. And I love it. 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 So the cool thing is, is that <laughs> there's so much lore, folklore or whatever around these guitars. And you have to know about them to understand what all's going on. And, you know, this one has the P90s. Certain people love, certain people don't like P90s, and that's okay. But somebody will love this guitar. A lot of people will. The, the deal is, is that the folklore behind it is everything about it, including these orange drop, orange drop capacitors, okay? So if you read about them, you read on one website, and they're like the holy shit capacitors that make everything sound amazing in the 50s and whenever and 60s. And then there's other people that say, oh, they don't sound good. And then I think more of what's right is kind of down the middle. And that's kind of how I am in general as a down the middle kind of guy. But down the middle in this sense means that these, these capacitors are amazing. Don't get me wrong. They are amazing. They used them in the 50s on this guitar. And they continue to use them because of the stability and they don't go microphonic. They don't let, you know, they don't do all these things that a lot of other capacitors were doing at the time because they were learning, you know, back in the fifties, they were learning and they were doing everything they could to make a guitar sound good. They were trying things. And then it's just one of those things where you can say, oh, we ordered 60 of these orange drop capacitors in and they're in the factory and they're trying it out and they're like, Oh, wow, we found something cool. So anyway, they used them. They continue to use them. They still use them today. But there isn't as much difference to the capacitor, to the common ear, as what a lot of people say. So don't be wound up about it. Don't be depressed about it. Just be happy that the guitar sounds amazing. Let's just keep it at that, okay? So I'm going to run through some tones here in a minute, but let's talk about the guitar. So it has a mahogany body with a mahogany neck, see it, take it all in, gold top, this is a maple top, and this is a rosewood fretboard, okay, bound neck, just like a standard, uh, these tuners, they are Gibson Deluxes, I don't know what they're modeled after exactly, the exact model they're named after, Larry, do you know? Uh, I'm not sure, I would, the Gibson well, Deluxes, yeah, Gibson who cares? Yeah, I mean, that's they're, they're vintage style tuners, you know, but uh, they're modeled after something, and I'm sorry, I can't, I can't remember. I'm not, I can't know everything. We have a thousand guitars in stock, you know what I mean? And most of them are one-offs, so there's no way for me to know all this, but you can read the, the, uh, the website at moreguitars.com when this thing goes online. It's got, the obvious, the block inlays, the trapezoids, and the tunomatic bridge, I believe it's the ABR1. You see, no, even though I'm standing with the guitar, I've got it off to my side as much as I can to make sure that there's no buttons rubbing from my shirt, though they are very soft buttons. It's a very soft shirt. It's comfortable. You should try this. I will put in the notes what brand it is so you can go get yourself one right after you buy this guitar. 
So anyway, let's listen to some tones. Here's clean on the, uh, the neck pickup. So it's responsive. That's what I love about it. These pickups are, you know, I got a considerable amount of gain. Hang on, let me do this. This uh, TC50 amp of mine that we've been playing with, playing through, um, a lot of it revolves around the gain that you put into the amp. So I can't get a whole ton of volume out of it unless I crank the gain. And I like loud amps because they sound better when they're loud. And Larry hates me for it. And so do the people in that room, in that room, in that room. But who cares? We're playing guitar. I can imagine like you put a little compression on that and that thing would sound like major rock and roll. So let's go to the neck pickup. Don't steal it. Anyway, here's distorted, okay? So I don't have a whole lot of gain in this channel just because I had it cranked for the guitar previous to this and um, just didn't, it felt cool, but it wasn't, just didn't really feel like that's what everybody'd be after. So I took a little out. Uh, I'll put it in channel three here in a minute just for the heck of it, but. Not a ton of sustain, but it's smooth, it's sweet, it really... Love it. Makes me want to just keep playing it. So anyway, I'll roll back the tone a little bit and see if we can get a little mellowness. So you can take this guitar out on Saturday night and throw the horns, wake up on Sunday morning, take it to church and praise God and ask for forgiveness. So buy the guitar and ask for forgiveness for your wife too. So anyway, that's enough of that nonsense. I'm done being funny. So anyway, more guitars, two nomadic bridge if I didn't say that. Moreguitars.com. We are the friendly people. We are the new Gibson dealer on the block, though we have a ton of history with Gibson. It spans back to the early 80s. Um, we just didn't carry them for a while while they were going through their little, their little rough spot, we'll say. So anyway, we're back. We are an um, we're amazingly, fr Woo, easy, easy fella. We are amazingly friendly. Uh, if you ask anybody that's dealt with us before, 
you can, you'll know that we pretty much have 100% customer satisfaction um, and everybody loves what we do. Free returns within a certain amount of time. There's no risk in buying guitars from us. You can try them out. But we, uh, the main thing we want to do is we want to help you. So please let us help you and come to moreguitars.com. Chat, call, email, send a pigeon, whatever you want to do. But check out our Gibson guitars online. If they aren't on there yet, I apologize, but we are um, messing up my mic. Larry's going to be mad at me. But uh, we're getting them in. We're trying to get them online as quick as we can, but we're also bringing in ESP guitars, and we have all our other brands that we've been carrying for years and years and years that are coming in, and we're trying to spread the wealth and spread the love and uh, make sure they all get online. So please bear with us. If you don't see something that we've made a video about, please call us email, chat, whatever, we will make sure we get you the best deal you can find out there and we will make sure you're happy as can be. We'll throw some goodies in the case too for you. So uh, check us out, moreguitars.com, Gibson 50 Series Standard Les Paul. We are happy to have them. Rock out, beg for forgiveness on Sunday morning. <laughs>